Hey guys, what is up? Sam or Scorpiola here, bringing you guys a guide on how to unlock the brand new Cavalier character inside of World War II Zombies The Tortured Path. Now these challenges are all found on the first map, so you're not going to need anything but the DLC to get right into these, get stuck in and get this brand new awesome looking character, as you can see on screen. And yeah, let's get talking through each of the five challenges. So first up we have our first challenge which is called Tracksuit. Now this is a real easy one to do, all you have to do is escape without opening supply drops. So obviously this is really simple, all you have to do is when you finish the objective wave and one of those supply drops comes falling down, just don't open it. So obviously because of this you're not going to have the armor or the max ammo, so put on some max ammo consumables and use Frontline with the Determination perk so that you can get that armor back regularly and it's also a really good class generally so I'd say that's your best option to get that challenge done. You can obviously do multiple in one game and that would be my best recommendation. Now another escape challenge here we have escape without using blitz for granted. Now this one's a bit more tough because obviously you can't buy double tap so by the end your damage will be lacking. Now for this you're going to want again we're on front line so you're going to want determination for your armor and you're going to want Vicious for the damage and I'd say maybe team effort to share the damage about through your whole team and yeah basically this is just you know both the escape challenges are just completing the wave 10 boss fight so all you need to do with that honestly is just it's just survive honestly it's a little bit on the tougher side but I know you guys can get it and yeah on to the next challenge which is the one that took the longest to find out and this is Silent Protector now what this is it's a bit different you have to get one of the defense objective objective waves so this is basically the ones we have to you know you get a point and you have to defend it from taking damage you have to complete one of those rounds without firing a bullet whatsoever as far as I'm aware it can get hit but you're simply not allowed to fire a bullet so you're gonna want three people with jack in the boxes everyone with frontline charge just in case and maybe some max ammo to just top up your jacks honestly it seems like the safest way to do it and yeah, real easy to do. The hardest thing is just getting the RNG of getting one of those rounds to pop up. Overall, it really doesn't matter too much what you're running. Just you want front line to get them away from that objective. If I were you, I'd just run to round six. If you don't get one by then, then just reset and just go over and over again. It took us a fair while, but we eventually got it. Next up, we have the no charity challenge. Now this is recover the hilt without grabbing supply drops. So this is basically completing the whole easter egg to get the help part which you'll obviously need to assemble the sword later on in one of the other sections. You have to get that without opening supply drops. So again, just like the first one, that's real easy to do. All you have to do is run through it as you normally would, but run some max ammo, run frontline, and I know you guys have got that covered. And then our final one we're moving on to is resource efficient. Now this one, this one took a couple of tries, but when we realise the time frame, it's pretty easy. It is defeat the Rakuten Brenner in, I believe it's under 45 seconds. Some people say it's under 40, but I saw one person do it in 41. That might be just cutting it fine. So I'd say under 40 seconds, just to be safe. This is real easy to do. All you want is four players or three players running the 9mm sat with dual wield. That's very helpful for this. And basically, you just want to have them run frontline with the triple damage, vicious buck, determination. And then just basically the second it starts, have a jack ready to go, throw it down, and just everyone start firing into that boss. Kill it as quickly as possible. And that will get you the challenge, and when you have all of them, you will have this awesome new character, guys. Looks pretty cool. The Cavalier you've got here. I can't wait to bring you guys on the other two characters as soon as we get them finished up. And yeah, that's the end of this guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to show your support. Leave a comment down below letting me know are you going to unlock this character? Have you already? And make sure to subscribe for more guides. I'll see you on more World War II Zombies. Bye!